So I was very disappointed to see in this year's staff survey again that uh, people still felt that there was some bullying and harassment taking place across uh, the trust. And I just wanted to take a few moments to say that uh, we are determined to create a culture where people do not experience this, uh, but also that people can feel that they can speak up about it and let us know when they feel that they are being bullied or harassed. Now, we're going to do quite a lot of work on this this year. We've talked about this in uh, the things we're doing on listening and interaction, but also some of the work that we're doing about producing some resources to really help staff, to help staff to understand what bullying and harassment is, uh, how to deal with it, how to report it. Uh, I've already said we can do this in confidence or you can approach people uh, like myself and others and let them know that this is going on. So it's something that I really, really want to uh, change here and uh, nobody should need to come to work and feel that they are uh, in danger of being bullied or harassed or feel that they can't even speak about it and, and raise these issues. This is one of our top priorities around creating a culture where people do feel that they're able to come to work in a really positive environment. My experience of bullying began um, soon after I started at another trust. Um, I was at a meeting and um, my line manager had said, I do a good true comment about one of my colleagues. Um, I didn't feel it was appropriate, so I reported it. Um, soon after the meeting, I got called into a meeting with my line manager um, who called me a troublemaker and that's when the bullying experience began. The bullying continued on via emails. They would always start off with, I'm disappointed that you haven't done blah, blah, blah. I soon found that the work that I was doing was being tampered with. I found it quite difficult at times um, to tell people or to tell anybody. At times I thought it was me, maybe I interpreted things incorrectly. Looking back I found that it was chipping away at my confidence and chipping away at my self-esteem, my self, my self-worth, um, but at the time I didn't really realise because I wasn't sure that it was actually bullying. Um, I was off sick for six months with stress at work. It was only during conversations um, with my GP, occupational health um, and my union rep that um, it was pointed out to me that what was happening to me was bullying. So my experiences of bullying was that when I was appointed as a manager for the first time in the trust, I didn't get an amazing support from managers above me and the expectations that they had grew and grew um, and it started to make me feel very anxious about targets and uh, waiting lists and things like that and I started to get very anxious, I started to work very long hours and not look after myself um, you know, in my personal life. So what was helpful to me was that when I did speak to someone that they listened and firstly that was a big relief that they actually listened to my situation and they pointed me in the right direction to get help and I engaged with SLAM's counselling service through the intranet um, and was seen by one of the counsellors and was able to talk through the issues and get some practical hints and tips on how to deal with them. I think for the trust to help end bullying and harassment in the trust, they need to continue to make options more wider for people to stay to speak up. So there's the excellent Freedom to Speak Up service. Um, it's great that this is being used. I think they need to champion it more. So as the Trust Freedom to Speak Up Guardian, I'm really pleased that the trust is taking bullying seriously. Um, people bring me examples uh, on a regular basis and I can see the devastating impact that bullying has on, on staff and their ability to perform. I have to say on a personal note, as someone who suffered bullying, I know how absolutely devastating it is. So I'm really pleased that there's going to be an orchestrated campaign now to say it's completely unacceptable uh, in this trust. And there'll be some new materials coming out that will help people. What we've committed to do as a Freedom to Speak Up network is to train all our advocates so they can help support you with using the new materials when they appear um, and so that you can 
come in confidence for a friendly conversation with one of us and we can help you sort of think how best to, to, to use it. I, I know from personal experience that it's easier said than done to speak up about things like bullying, but the sooner you tap into it, the sooner you, uh, um, you start to take steps, the less damaging the impact can be on you.